just attached to something. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, I don't know. Is this the mic right here? Or does it doesn't matter? But I'm sorry, repeat your question. Hey, Kyrie. Um, just balancing the satisfaction of, of winning this opening round series with the task that lies ahead in this journey that you've talked about throughout the season. Yeah, no, we just want to take it one day at a time. Uh, you know, obviously when we get ahead of ourselves, uh, that usually doesn't work out for us. So we just want to take it uh, one day at a time as we develop more of a, a collective effort that we can be consistent with. Um, you know, I just feel like we, we've we made strides uh, in just a short period of time. You know, it seems like three weeks ago we were talking about getting on the same page, you know, doing the little things in order for us to win, uh, continuously boxing out, uh, you know, rebounding and stopping teams from uh, feeling comfortable against us out there. So in any competitive field, uh, you know, you want your opponent to to feel uh, some type of physicality. So you make it harder on them. And I feel like we did that. Malika Andrews with ESPN. I read both James and Steve touched on just that they felt that this was just good to have an extended run with all of you together. Is that the thing that you're most taking from this series for, for you guys? Was that time you guys got together or is it something else that you want to translate for moving forward? Uh, I think I agree with the sentiment. You know, we just, just, we don't want to take any of this time for granted. Uh, you know, we know this doesn't happen too often, uh, you know, kind of in our culture and our history where, um, you know, some, three of the best scorers to, to ever play the game, you know, on one team. Uh, and then you have a collection of guys that have, have done unbelievable things as well in this league, um, you know, either coming off the bench or starting with us. So, you know, we just want to everyone. We just want everyone to feel good. We're a selfless group. Um, we try to make sure it's not just about us three, uh, but we do understand that um, the expectations on us to perform and to lead our team, um, you know, it's just inevitable. So we, we welcome that. But we, we just don't want to um, you know get too ahead of ourselves, like I said before. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. All right, what's going on, Kyrie? Um, James said just a second ago that uh, he's already thinking about this series coming up with the Bucs. Uh, I'm wondering if, A, you give yourself a chance to rest before you even start thinking about that, or if your mind is already there, and B, if there's anything that you can take from this series that maybe you, you can apply to the next series going against them. Yeah, no, we, we do understand it's a long journey, so uh, we, we want to celebrate our small wins. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy, uh, you know, to consider the Bucks. Obviously, they're right in front of us in a few days. So uh, I agree. You know, I'm, I'm right on this, right in the same boat with him. You know, excited to, to think about the task at hand, uh, you know, how great that team is uh, and, and what it's going to take to be successful against them on both ends of the floor. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when that time comes. But as of right now, we just celebrate the small wins. Thankful we got out here healthy. Uh, you know, we played against, um, you know, kind of a lesser Celtics team than what it's been in the in the regular season. So, you know, we want to give all the respect to those guys and, and the amount of work they put in as well. Uh, we don't want to disrespect them or anything that they put forth in terms of their hard work. Um, you know, that boy Jason Tatum, as I said, over the time that I played with him, has grown tremendously. Um, nothing short of proud of him. Uh, nothing short of proud of Smart. All the guys that, that have come in and, um, you know, gave us – uh, you know, comp their competitive spirit. So now we move on and, um, you know, we take what we learn from this series and, and, and move forward. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kai. Are you, uh, James and Katie, are you guys tangibly in a better place cohesiveness than you were maybe three weeks ago? Or is this just, well, are we, is what we are seeing just a case of really good players making big time plays in the playoffs as they're still learning each other? I, I mean, honestly, Brian, uh, shoot, I, I wish I could pinpoint um, exactly kind of when uh, things have progressed for us, but I can't think of an ideal time other than just getting more experience uh, throughout this journey. The last three weeks, obviously, you know, a lot has changed just because we we had a, a different focus than we had in the regular season. We had a little bit more time to prepare uh, to communicate with one another, uh, to see things on the fly, and then be able to make adjustments moving from game to game. You know, when you get an opportunity to do that, you're in the trenches uh, in this com in this competitive field. Uh, then, it, then it naturally brings people closer together. And then, you know, being on the road, uh, you know, in Boston, we we had no choice uh, but to come together and make sure that we were hitting on all cylinders. So, um, 
you know, just have a humble approach to using our talent uh, to make each other better. And uh, when you're doing that and you're playing the game the right way, the, the game will reward you. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, your offense and the Bucks offense are the two highest scoring, most efficient offenses uh, maybe in, in NBA history. And so when you look at the talent matchup, do they match up with you about as well as any team in the league? And especially because they have defenders like Giannis and, and Giroux Holiday. Yeah, no, I think it's it's meant for uh, a lot of the you know best players in the league to to go up against one another and show why um, you know we are who we are, and you know there's mutual respect on both sides for what we're uh, capable of doing talent wise. But we obviously know um, you know there's going to be some adjustments made on the fly when we're going against each other, and um, offense is is going to be easy to come by sometimes and tough, uh, but.